Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great week. This week I'm painting a whimsical Tuscan landscape using mixed media. Instead of using a pencil to sketch my landscape, I used masking tape to lay out the landscape. Then for most of my painting process, I'll be using Neocolor 2 water soluble crayons and gesso. I start my process by using Neocolor crayons to add some color to my background. Then I use some water and a round flat brush to start blending my colors. Once this part of the process is done, I let the paint dry and then remove the tape from my landscape. Now I'm going to start using water soluble crayons to add some color to the parts of the landscape that were covered by the tape. I like working with water soluble crayons because they're easy to create a variety of different textures with and I can use water or paint to blend them very easily. Up until now, I've only been using water to blend the crayon, but now I'm going to start using some gesso to do the same thing, and it's going to create a little bit more of a muted effect. As you can see, my colors are now starting to look a little softer. As I keep going, I'll keep using different layers of crayon color and gesso to create the effect I desire. I prefer using gesso rather than using white paint um, because it makes the blending process easier. Acrylic paint is very plasticky and it would be harder for me to then use a water soluble product over the acrylic paint, whereas gesso is more paintable. For now I'm satisfied with the insides of my trees so I'm going to start adding a darker color around them to make them pop more from the page. Then I use some water to dilute the color I just applied and blend it a little bit more. Here I've decided to use some gesso to create some highlights inside my trees. Then I do the same on the land portion of my painting. I want to soften the colors in my sky and again, gesso will help me do that. Now I'm going back to adding some darker color to delineate my hills. Since the color in this paint pen is also water soluble before it dries, I can use water to help blend it. Adding some shading around the contour of my trees will also give them a little bit more dimension. Now it's time to add some trunks to my trees using a black Posca pen. Using a white pen, I'm going to start drawing in some whimsical clouds. My painting is nearly complete, so I'm going to use my hair dryer or a heat tool to help remove the tape around the contour of my painting. Using a small amount of heat on the tape makes it easier to remove the tape without tearing the paper. 
However, it's important not to overdo it with your heat because if you heat the tape too much, the glue will come off the tape and stick to your paper. I didn't like the very stark lines in my clouds, so I decided to use a crayon to try and soften them a bit. I then decided to draw in a few little birds in the distant sky. Now I'll sign my painting and the process is complete. Thank you for making the time to watch. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy creating!